Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today we got a special treat for you. Today we're doing a good old fashioned shootout. We are gonna compare the steel MSA 140C to the DeWalt DCC 620B to the Poulin 2150 traditional gas powered chainsaw compared to a rigid reciprocating saw with a wood cutting blade. <laughs> we're gonna take a look and we're gonna see um, out of all these options, which is gonna work best for you, okay? So we got, uh, we got two great electric chainsaws, we've got an old tired gas saw, and then we have something, uh, you know, a, a typical tool that just about anyone could have laying around their house where we've actually added a Milwaukee axe demo blade to it that's, uh, that you can actually use for cutting wood. So uh, stay tuned and uh, let's see who comes out on top. Okay, folks, so to get things started here in our shootout, I'm gonna start with the gas one, the old traditional gas one. So um, again, this isn't, it's not quite an apples to apples comparison, right? The two chain, the two electric or battery powered chainsaws we're gonna take a look at are 12 inch bars. This fellow's got a 16 inch bar on him. Okay, so a little bit bigger. Um, weight wise, this thing's probably about 13 ish, 14 ish pounds as it sits, okay? Um, I had this one for a number of years. You're gonna see some of the struggles that I have with this one throughout the video and why I've been looking for new chainsaws, okay? And again, these are some struggles that I'm sure that a lot of people have had. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime this guy. Okay, a couple squeezes on the primer, flip him to the on position. Now I'm gonna manipulate my choke and we're gonna to attempt to start this thing. First cut we're gonna make is through a four by four, okay? Once we get through the four by four, then we're gonna move on to a railroad tie with it. And we're gonna see roughly how long it takes. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna call that one right there. <laughs> Didn't even get all the way through the four by four. Now, biggest reason for that likely is gonna be dull chain, but this is something that you can't pick up on YouTube. The smell, the exhaust, the noise that this thing puts out, okay? Um, yes, with a sharp chain, I'm pretty confident I probably would have chewed through both of these without, uh, without too much issue. Um, but again, that's just something we gotta be mindful of here. Uh, the noise, the exhaust, it's, you saw, it took me a few different tries to get this thing going. I was actually going full throttle all the way through here. Um, and you could hear the saw laboring, right? So again, that's just one of the things you gotta deal with when you're using uh, a gas saw. So again, something to keep in mind. Okay, so, <clears throat> so again, my overall impression of the gas one here, I mean, you gotta be mindful. Something like this, if you're on an acreage, or, or you know you're, you're cutting wood on the farm yeah you know what i could definitely see the advantages here the, the thing is you got to have gas mixed for these these are two stroke engines so you have to have your gas mixed with your oil you've got a spark plug you got to worry about you have a carburetor that you got to maintain right these are all things that you got to be mindful of and especially once you start getting some miles on the clock you're going to start having issues with these guys they're loud you get the exhaust right those are all things that you gotta you gotta manage it's not just the saw itself so Right now, I say I would put this guy at number one on the leaderboard. What does it take to be number one? By virtue of we haven't tested anything else, okay? So, all right, we'll retire this one. 
Next up, we're gonna take a look at the DeWalt. Now this is the 20 volt DeWalt with the 12 inch bar, okay? Um, hopefully you would have seen the review that we did on this guy overall, pretty decent little saw. Now I've got a fully charged two amp hour battery in here. DeWalt does recommend using a five amp hour, um, but again, we're gonna see what uh, we're gonna see what this fella can do here. So again, we're gonna do a cut through the four x four, and then we're gonna do a cut through railroad tie, and we're gonna try to get some overall impressions here. So let's start off with the four x four. Okay, so right off the hop, compared to the tired old uh, pool, and you can see what a difference, eh? And I'm gonna attribute that to, you know, just a better chain and whatnot. Um, overall, speed of cut wasn't too bad. I mean, it got through it, it wasn't in a huge hurry, but it made it through. Um, Noise-wise, what a difference compared to that. Now, they say that saw is rated at 76 decibels, and that's just a little sticker on it. This is significantly quieter. I don't know if you guys would pick it up on your speakers or not, but I definitely heard a difference. So that's the 4x4. Let's go ahead and rip through this, uh, this railroad tie here and see what we get. Perfect, okay. Overall, uh, you know what, really clean cut. Can't complain there. Not too much tearing or anything like that. Again, not in a huge hurry to get through the material, but overall, saw felt really good in hand. It's really comfortable. Um, DeWalt puts a lot of thought into how they design their equipment. I'll, I'll give them that. When I look at the ergonomics, I look at the way that hand grip is shaped, very comfortable in hand. Um, the saw is light. If you gotta put some downward pressure on it, it's actually not too bad. I really don't mind it. Um, Again, my biggest thing is capacity of battery. I think that would make a pretty big difference. Um, but overall, folks, I think we got a new leader on our hands. <laughs> All right, so we'll pop that guy down here. Ah, uh, next up on the list, we've got the steel, the MSA 140. Now, this fella, significant difference. Instead of a 20 volt system, you got a 36 volt system in here. Instead of a two amp hour battery, we're using the AK30, which is the equivalent to um, about a five amp hour battery. So right off the hop, we know we got more power. More power is always better. So the same thing, we, we're gonna start off with the four by four and I'll give you some initial thoughts here. <laughs> okay, no contest. <laughs> this thing sliced through that four x four like a hot knife through butter. If you watch my initial review on this guy here, um, a little more setup goes into it out of the box, whereas the DeWalt, you literally pull it out, throw oil in, slap a battery in and you're good to go. This thing honks, okay? It, it just sliced right through there like nothing, okay? I'm expecting more of the same on the, uh, on the railroad tie here. So let's get it queued up. Okay, so I was getting a little overzealous that time. I was actually putting quite a bit of downward pressure on the saw, and I did manage to get this thing to stall out twice on me, okay? But, again, if I take a look at the time it took to make that cut, no problem. Tell you what, let's do one more with this one, and I'm gonna just let the tool do the work instead of me um, pressing on it big time. Okay, there it is. That was literally me just letting the tool do the work and you could hear how effortless that was. Um, if I take a look at the battery here, still full. All those cuts and it still just went through all that like nothing. Um, overall, in terms of ergonomics, I'm gonna say that this fella is heavier than the DeWalt. Um, the hand grip, it's fine, it's fine. Um, it's, not as, it's not as comfortable as the DeWalt is, I would say, but I mean, it's not, it's not terrible by any means. It's just a little different. The material's actually a little bit softer, I find, than the DeWalt one is. Um, but in terms of weight and how the tool's balanced, no complaints. Um, 
oh, I think we got a new winner on our hands. You call me the champ. <laughs> um, now the, the big challenge though is when you look at when you look at price between these two guys okay um, so I think it's a foregone conclusion to say I, I think I'm past gas <laughs> make any jokes you want there but uh, you know when I'm looking at a bear tool cost this fella here is around 259 Canadian this fella here is around 399 Canadian. Again, that's bare tool prices. Now, obviously, you know, there's deals, sales, discounts, things like that that you can find. Um, but to ask yourself, is this gonna be worth the extra, you know, 140 bucks for the bare tool? Uh, that's gonna be up to you. Um, my experience cutting through this was fantastic. I would say that if you had steel yard equipment already, then this is probably going to be a no-brainer for you because you, you you bought into that battery ecosystem. Okay, so um, again, if you bought into the battery ecosystems already, you know, you're, you're going to be okay here. Um, but again, I can also say the same thing for the DeWalt, right? I believe with a more apples to apples comparison, a more powerful battery, that this thing would shine a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just kind of putting these in order of what I think is best now. <laughs> Let's say you're on a budget and you maybe can't afford one of these chainsaws, but you got to get something cut. If you got a reciprocating saw at home, you can always go ahead, you can purchase one of these Milwaukee um, axe or, or uh, limbing blades, and you can use these things for trees. As a matter of fact, last summer, I actually took down um, an, entire, uh, <laughs> an entire cedar with one of these alone because I was having so many issues with the pooling. Okay, so like I said, if we're in a pinch and all we've got is a reciprocating saw, we can try out that uh, that Milwaukee demo blade. Let's see if we can get through a four x four realistically. I think we will, but uh, let's just see what the experience is like. Okay. Okay, so probably aside from the bad blade on the uh, Poolin, <laughs> took the longest, but you know what? Definitely usable. If this is all that you got, you know, you're gonna spend nine or 10 bucks on a blade and you can still get the job done at the end of the day. Am I gonna try this on a railroad tie? Not likely, <laughs> but they do actually make, I think a 12 inch version of this. So who knows, this might be feasible for you. And that is also with a two amp hour battery on here. So folks, just in conclusion here, um, again, I really think you got some great options on your hands. I would personally recommend if you have batteries from a certain ecosystem, that might be your best bet. Uh, but if you're starting from scratch, that steel is a fantastic option to keep in mind. So folks, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, please, again, consider uh, giving me a big thumbs up and liking it and subscribing always helps the channel. Also, would love to hear about your ideas for videos in the comments below. So again, Thank you so much. Take care. Catch you next time.